Guys, welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm continuing with my uh, series of videos that I made, um, doing reactions to the videos that I made back when I was getting ready to retire. I was still working. And uh, this one today, I do not remember what I said. So uh, let's see. Let's see what I said and let's react. React to what I said. I'm sure it's something very important. Actually, I'm going to do two videos, so let's start with this one. Good morning. Day 6,141. 29 days left with students. Um, you probably saw yesterday, if you watched my video, how I saved uh, saved the school's testing yesterday. Um, if you hadn't watched that video, you need to go back and watch it. It shows a big difference, you know, between old teachers and uh, younger teachers, the way we think. Um, for example, yesterday when that stapler was broken and we needed that stapler fixed, um, a young teacher probably would have called in the other teachers. They probably would have had a meeting, uh, built a consensus, you know, maybe took some surveys and some inventories and tried to figure out what needs were not being met and why Miss, uh, Miss Chesney didn't have a, you know, why did she have a broken stapler in her office? and. Everybody else has staplers that work in their office. Well, a lot of you may work at a place where they feel like you need to build a consensus before you can make decisions and do things. And you can't just have somebody go, hey, let's do this, tell everybody, and then them do it. Um, that sounds really cool, but it takes a inordinate amount of time something i can make my mind up on in five seconds to tell everybody what to do we could stretch that into 30 days worth of meetings and i'm not kidding literally <laughs> you could stretch that into and you could look at it and you can go well the answer is obvious but nobody wants an obvious answer they just want you to have meetings now as a teacher i preferred somebody that would just come in and go hey do this and i would say oh you want me to do that okay and then i would do it i don't know uh, we probably would have agreed on like some kind of plan of action and, you know, enter into some kind of cycle, like a plan, do, check, act kind of a thing that would, you know, have lasted for years. Um, but when I started, you know, it was pretty much survival of the fittest. Um, staple was broken. I didn't have any tools. So I took some scissors. I fixed the stapler. Uh, you know, we didn't have teachers pay teachers and stuff like that. I mean, what we had was teacher figure it out. And so, um, that's what I did. Yeah, there were like no resources when I started. I mean, all I had, and it's no lie, all I had was the textbook that the students had. I don't even think I had the teacher's edition of the textbook. I think I just had what the students had. We didn't have any any of the old workbooks, any of the old worksheets. We didn't have anything and we didn't have the internet. We didn't have a way to get in. You literally had to make everything you did. You had to make it or you had to write it on the board or you had to write it and hand it to them. Uh, I, I didn't even have a typewriter. <laughs> and if I had one, I couldn't have used it. Took some scissors, fixed the stapler, and we were able to staple everything together so that we could have testing. My principal, I, I could just imagine if I went to my principal years ago and asked him some kind of question about a stapler, he probably would have punched me in the arm and looked at me and said something like, you know, I didn't hire people to come in here and ask questions. I hired people to come in here and answer questions. So. There were times, at, and this is no lie, people would come into my office and they would ask me questions that I would have never in a million years asked my principal. I, I would have, they'd just come in and they'd just say stuff like, I can't get my class to act right. I would have never walked into his office and said, I can't get my class to act right. I would have figured it out or I'd have asked some other teacher or something. I would have never gone into my principal's office. Now people look at that today and they're like, why would you not do that? That person's supposed to be there to help you. And I was there to help them. And I would give them what answers I could. And uh, and I wasn't surprised that they came in and asked me things, but I'm just saying it was so different. Um, 
than when I started. I mean, I'm not, I don't think in my first year, and this is, I'm a brand new teacher right out of college, I don't think I talked, personally talked to my principal more than probably five times that year. I didn't talk to that man. He didn't talk to me. He didn't come into my room. They get the assistant principal I talked more with. He was more down, you know. You, that was kind of your, you know, go up the ladder. You could, it was okay to talk to him. But you just didn't do it. And I didn't have anybody tell me that. I didn't have somebody come by and go, Chris, leave your principal alone. I, that's just the way everybody thought. Like, don't bother your principal. Why, why piss off the guy that's, the, you know, <laughs> supposed to do your evaluations? I, I, I just did not do it. Um, but that was the difference between now and then. Uh, it was a tough decision, but uh, when I saw that stapler was uh, jammed, I, I had to fix it. It's just what I do. So uh, you're welcome. And uh, I hope that uh, the future generation of teachers is able to do things like that, fix, uh, fix staplers. Have a good day. <laughs> you could tell I wasn't in the best moods when I made that video. <laughs> but anyway, okay, now this next one, I did a um, an interview with one of the PE teachers. I got her to come in there. And uh, I now, if, I don't know where I learned this or how I gained this ability, but now I can really mess with, with people. <laughs> I could really, I could really give them a hard time, and I'm just, I just, I'm gifted at it, at just completely driving somebody crazy, and uh, and and that's what I did in this video, in this interview. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this interview, and I'm just gonna have her so wound up by the time it's over, she's probably not gonna be able to teach the rest of the day. So let's see how this worked. Okay, after looking at my uh, annual from the other day for my first year teaching and how young I looked, and uh, then I realized that all the other people seemed really old to me when I started teaching, I started thinking, I wonder how I seem to a younger teacher. So I got the youngest teacher that's here today because the actual youngest teacher is not even here today. She's not even at work. I don't think I missed a day of work. At least the first 10, 15 years. All right. Lie. Now, now that is no lie. I really don't think I missed a day of work. Seriously, in probably 12 years. <laughs> the first 12 years. I never, you didn't, you didn't miss work. So when I was going to do this video, we had a brand new teacher. And, and she would just fall apart if you, you know, if you, gave her a hard time. So I was really looking forward to bringing her in there and, uh, you know, getting her to just fall apart. And, oh my God, leave me alone, you know, and all this stuff. But she wasn't even at, at school. First question, okay, just to get a, I just want to get a, you know, some understanding of how you look at things here. Um, my first question is, do you think it's okay to let uh, a 14 or 15 year old teach? They could do the closing, but teach, no. Well, then why are you teaching? Well, I'm 29. Oh, you're 29. I'm 29, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll say that because the other day when I, I went to, uh, we had a job fair, and in the job fair, everybody there looked like they were about 12 or 13, so. <laughs> when we went to that job fair, I, I was looking around, and I was like, these people are too young to teach. They look like teen. They really did. They look like teenagers to me. They look like a bunch of babies. And I was thinking, my God, I'm getting ready to retire. I must look like I'm 150 years old to these people. Okay. Um, I was just checking. Just okay. to make sure that we weren't letting people that were underage. No, I don't so think so. So you got a college degree? Yes, all that. two. Two college degrees. Two. Put that out there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, second question. Uh, the other day in our conference, when I was doing your end of the year teacher conference, <clears throat> since I'm your observer, uh, what did you mean by the comment, one foot in the grave? I didn't. When, uh, when you said that. 
I said one foot out the door. Oh, one foot out the door. I did not oh. say one foot in the grave. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I thought you meant one foot in the grave. How old do you think I am? Exactly. Just throw a number out there. Oh, Any kind God. of For real? <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me a number. How old do you think I am? 52. God. You are much smarter than, <laughs> than I was. <laughs> Am I close? Within two yeah, years? Yeah, you're there. Okay. You're right there. Um, now, let me ask you this. I'm really curious about this. Who's meaner? Oh, Old teachers or young teachers? Old teachers. Really? You yeah, think they, old teachers are better yeah, than young yeah. teachers? Seriously. They have a lot of experience and they're tired at this point, I think. You ever heard the term testosterone? You know anything about testosterone? <laughs> I've you heard of that, that term, yes. Because what I have found is I get older, I have less testosterone. So I become nicer and nicer. I've become so nice. If you see me when I first started teaching, I was so mean. Maybe it's different with, with uh, with women. I was a hundred times meaner <laughs> when I started teaching than I was when I ended. When I ended, I was just the nicest, mellow, easy going, you know. When I started, I was very intense and very uh, quick tempered and quick um, to make decisions. And uh, and they weren't always, but they, they weren't always the right decisions. Just to be honest with you. Yeah, Possibly, you think? I think so. That's yeah. just awesome. <clears throat> Are you aware, how many questions is this? Four. Are you aware that I only made 70 cents a day when I began teaching? I was not aware of that. What do you think about that? I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. Okay, I'm going to calculate that and we're going to find out exactly what it is I made a day when I started teaching. I want to include my coaching days in there too. And we're gonna find out how much you think you make a day. You might want to calculate that. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, it's Miss Badger. She's one of our PE teachers. <laughs> she has no idea how much she makes a day. I've, I've is, never sat down and looked at it. Claims, I don't do it for the money. I do it for the children. So I hear you saying that. She claims to be 29. <laughs> claims to be certified teacher. <laughs> Said I had one foot in the grave the other day. Out the door. Out the door. Out. And, and then tried to change the what she said. So, uh, thank you for this interview. Uh, yeah. I've got some real uh, insight on how young teachers think, and um, I couldn't have got that without you. Thank you, Miss Patrick. You're welcome. Glad I could help. Thank you. And that's how it ended. I don't. <laughs> we did calculate. I remember when I was younger when I started teaching. We calculated how much we made a day, and it was it was something insane. Um, because I really did the first twelve years that I taught, I taught, I coached three sports. I never went home before probably an average of seven or eight o'clock at night, and I've just worked constantly, and we didn't get paid much. Um, so anyway, well, I was just having a good time now. I did follow this up. The younger teacher did show up the next day. So I have a video for that. And she did not handle herself as well as the teacher here did. She's a little, she's a little older and she, she can kind of handle things. But the, the one the next day, I had her pretty rattled. So uh, we'll, we'll get that video to you later. Thanks for watching, guys.